Hey girls. Um, shout out to my dance team for the season that we had. I know it feels like it flew by um, and probably even more so because the year got cut short. Um, but I just wanted to congratulate you all for another good season. Um, shout out to my freshmen, Belle Batterton, Calissa Seeger, and Jennifer Vieja. And my sophomores, Lexi Elizalde, Christina Corrales, juniors, Kenya Caro, and Arlie Robles. And to my lone senior, Tatum Armstrong. Um, I'm proud of you all. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the season as much as I did. You guys worked really hard. Um, I hope you all stay healthy. Try to stay positive in this crazy time. I'm thinking about you all. Um, Tatum, so proud of you. And I can't wait to watch you on your next adventure. Um, keep your head up. Um, I know that this is not how you planned your senior year, but uh, you'll make it through as will everyone else. So congratulations, you guys. Um, enjoy your summer. Finish the school year strong. And I'm sure that I will see you guys around. Bye. Hey, everyone. I just wanted to take a minute and congratulate all the cheerleaders that we had this year. Um, we had a fantastic year. Um, I was really proud to be their sponsor and really proud of how everybody really improved this year. Um, so today I would like to just take a minute and let you know who lettered. Um, Bailey lettered. She's been a cheerleader for four years. Paige lettered. She's been a cheerleader for four years as well. Carly has been a cheerleader for three years. Arlie has been a cheerleader for three years. Calissa, one year, Royal, one year, and Colton has been our mascot for two years. You guys have been a great team, and I really look forward to watching you grow and, and see where this takes you. And congratulations to our seniors. You two have been great leaders, and I really look for you guys to do great things. Congratulations, and remember, we are SC. Hello everyone. This is definitely not the way that we normally do this uh, award ceremony, but we still have some winter sports seasons in our athletes that we, we need to recognize. I'm going to first start off by talking a little bit about our JV season. If you never had a chance to watch these girls play, you definitely missed out. They were a lot of fun to watch. They love to press and get up and down the court. We always joked as coaches that we didn't have to work on offense or our offensive sets very often because most of the time someone was already running down the court um, and sprinting to the basket to get a layup. They really had a great season and they only lost two games that were full overall. They had several games that were cut short to only a half or three quarters and that was based off of the numbers of the other teams that we played. So to only lose two total games was definitely a huge accomplishment. They also won the uh, Elkhart JV tournament, and this was a really, really busy week for them. They played five games during that week, and, uh, and they came out the champions of that tournament. They were also on track to win the Ulysses tournament before that got cut short due to weather. Uh, we can uh, definitely look forward to seeing some great things out of these girls in the future. So our JV members were freshmen. We had Chesney Peterson, Cassandra Alleman, Suzanne Farnham, Calissa Seeger, and Aureli Rodriguez. Sophomores were Elizabeth Molina, Lexi Elzalde, Jamie Rodriguez. And our juniors were Hanya Don Juan and Gladys Callejas. Our varsity season had a lot of ups and downs, but uh, we... These girls definitely have a lot to be proud of. They started the season 6-0, and and it's always a great feeling to go into Christmas break being undefeated. After break, uh, it seemed like our team just caught a lot of bad breaks, and we experienced a ton of um, sicknesses with in and also injuries, and kind of like I've never, I've never seen it quite this bad before. We played... Very few games, if any, that I can think of at all with a complete team and being all at full strength. 
Uh, Jordan Tucker played most of the season with a foot injury. We had a lot of others where they might have been banged up or, you know, aches and pains, and no one ever knew about it, and they just uh, played through it. And, and it seemed that the flu bug came into our team, and it just never seemed to leave our team. That being said, they didn't let any of this hold them back. They were still able to accomplish some great things. They were able to finish on the top side of the HPL tournament. And they also finished third in the HPL regular season with an with a league record of five and two. Um, at the beginning of the season, we always set a goal that we want to host the first round of Substate. We say we we just have to we we need to do that to be able to um, set ourselves up for success. And so we were able to do that as well. And then the next bad break came to us when we uh, drew the undefeated and number one team um, in, in 2A. Uh, th this was a really good team in Spearville, uh, but our girls, they played extremely, extremely hard, and we gave them quite a scare in the first half. And we were also able to hold um, the 2A player of the year um, well below her average, um, probably about half of what her average was, but we just didn't have quite enough to get over the hump that day. So the players for varsity, were, and these are all winner or letter winners as well, were freshmen Alexis Walker and Addison Scott. We had juniors Peyton Peterson, Jordan Tucker, and Jordan Snook. And then also Kenya Caro, we still considered her a player, even though um, she uh, had a season-ending injury this past summer. Um, you can look forward to seeing her back on the court and seeing great things from her next year. And then our seniors, we had Kaylin Cook, Riley Cook, Carla Alleman, and Chloe Chinoweth. Um, these four seniors over the last four years have put in just an absolute ton of work. Um, some awesome or cool stats or accomplishments that you can, or I, I'd like to share about them is when they were seventh graders, they didn't win a game. They were completely defeated. I think they went 0 and 12. And, um, once they got up to the high school level, they were ready to put in the work to change that. Um, they, last season, they were able to make history for Stanton County girls basketball by having the most wins since 1999 and a state tournament appearance. Um, last year, they were part of a 17-win 17, 17 season. Um, most of these girls stepped right into high school playing varsity immediately. Uh, their very first high school game that they ever played went into overtime. They were able to win that game, and they also won every other overtime game that they played in for the rest of their high school career. So that's a really cool thing to be able to say that they never lost an overtime game. I'm just really proud of these young ladies and the work that they've put into their high school career, um, not only on the court but off the court as well. And their work ethic and leadership is going to be greatly missed. And we look forward to seeing great things out of out of these ladies in the future. Um, I also had uh, two of the best managers that a coach and players could ask for. Um, this was Jesse Ornelas and Briley Peterson. I never had to wonder if anything ever got onto the bus or made it to the locker room or back onto the bus. Yes, he was just there and took care of everything. And along with her, Briley was her little right-hand man. And uh, I can tell you that little girl could get water to our players faster than anyone I've ever seen. Um, it, she was a lot of fun to, to watch when you watch back film. She, she did a good job all the time. She took her job very seriously, and we were glad to have her a part of our team this year. We had three players receive all league recognition this year. This is the most um, the most that Stanton County Girls has had for quite a few years. Uh, these are honors that are voted on by the league coaches. Um, so I, I'm not allowed to vote for our own players. These are coming from what the other coaches seen in our players. Chloe Chenoweth uh, received all league honorable mention. Peyton Peterson received second team all league. And, Along with that, she was also recognized um, in sports in Kansas as an All-State Honorable Mention. And Riley Cook received first team All-League. Uh, she was also recognized as in sports in Kansas and the Topeka Capital Journal as All-State 
honorable mention. Um, I don't want to kind of end by saying thank you to Coach Kendrick for all of her support again this year. She has always been a great assistant, and I couldn't ask for a better coach to coach with. I want to thank my wife, Rochelle, for all her support this year. She does a ton behind the scenes that no one really knows about. Uh, this goes from cooking team meals to washing towels and just helping everything run smoothly. Um, I, I know many of our winter athletes were also spring athletes and we're really looking forward to this season. And I wish nothing more to be able to be out watching you guys compete uh, in this season as well. And I hope that you guys use this time to continue to keep active, but also enjoy this time to spend some time with your family and let our let your bodies heal a little bit. And I hope that you're all staying healthy so that way we can get back to competing in the near future. Hello, everyone. Uh, it feels strange to be doing this award ceremony uh, via this format, but I guess everything uh, about today, these days are, is kind of strange in itself. So hope everyone is doing well, staying safe. Um, and I just want to start uh, with a few thank yous uh, for this season. I want to thank uh, my, my fellow coaching staff, Coach McNall, Coach Pantoja. Uh, it's been great to uh, get to know you guys this year and working together. Uh, it, it, there was for a while there, wasn't sure who I was going to be able to get um, as a coaching staff, and it worked out well. And I appreciate all you guys, uh, both you guys, for all the work that you put in and uh, the time and energy it takes uh, is well uh, beyond what, what what coaches get paid. So I thank you for that. I want to thank uh, our administration, Mr. Siebert, Mrs. Barber, Mr. Horn, uh, for all the support um, that you guys provide. Uh, the coaches and teams here, the school board as well. Um, we always have um, good facilities and equipment and everything that a team could ask for. So we thank you for that. We thank the community. Uh, I've never been in a, in a place where it's so easy to uh, put on a fundraiser and, and know that um, you're going to get well beyond what you need. So thank you for taking care of our, our boys, our students um, in that way. Parents, especially uh, for all the time, I know it's a big commitment to uh, send your boys to a coaching staff um, two hours a day. So we appreciate that you put that trust in us and I hope that we honored that uh, with, with the, how we um, led the team. Uh, I want to thank my wife Joy uh, behind the scenes is, is a great uh, coach's wife, the best that I could ever hope for or imagine. And she does a lot of things that go unnoticed and, and un thanked. So I want to thank her uh, right now. So th this season, um, you know, you hear a lot of talk about uh, rebuilding years and, and, and reloading and rebuilding. And, and it's, it's kind of easy to, when you're not a part of it to think, well, it's not, not that bad. You lose some players, you bring in new players and uh, you just get going again and slowly kind of works itself out. But when you're in the midst of it, uh, it it's hard and it's hard work. And we did kind of start from, from scratch uh, this year graduating uh, eight seniors uh, who were a big part of some successful years in our program here. And we had four points coming back this year. One player who had any substantial time in the rotation. Uh, so, and even that player uh, learned a new position. That's Gio Callejas. And uh, going from uh, one, of our, our, one of our first guards off the bench to the point guard, putting the ball in your hands and lead us. So. Uh, we, you know, just when you're when you're building a house, we talked a lot about uh, as a team kind of uh, motto or not motto analogy uh, this year. Building a house, it, it takes uh, blueprints and it takes hard work and sweat and tears. And and we had some starts, we had some stops, and we had some storms come in and blow everything down. And we had uh, rain that stopped our progress. And we had about everything that you can imagine getting in the way of us building um, where we wanted to go. And some of that was self-inflicted and some of that was just learning how to do it on, on the fly and, and learning who we were, building chemistry um, and just plain experience that it takes to get where you want to go. Um, so, you know, the lessons kind of we took out of that uh, to build a quality winning um, program, team, um, it takes a solid foundation. And that foundation is based on hard work and character 
and toughness, uh, not only just physical, but mental. And I think uh, it, it took all the way through this year for us to kind of understand that and learn those lessons and um, have some highs, have some lows, uh, and finally get that foundation where we feel like, man, it, it's 100 times stronger than when we first started out. Uh, and, and I wish we could have kind of gotten that done earlier in the year because late in the year in the push, we kind of had that foundation and we started to then be able to play and, uh, and uh, just be able to go and not have to worry about those things all the time, but just be able to play basketball and make adjustments and start worrying about the other team and, and um, game planning and things like that. Uh, but I feel like we, we did um, make that foundation that we're set up now uh, to come back, the guys that are returning, and, and build on that and build, build a, a good quality winning house or team and keep, keep that in the program. So uh, this year we were 7-14. and 14. We, uh, like I said, had some ups, had some downs. Um, there's, like we talked about with the guys, there's always going to be circumstances that we can't control in life. Uh, it's just how you respond from it and what you learn from it. So uh, I know I learned a lot from this year. Uh, you can learn a lot more uh, from when things are hard, when, when you don't quite have the success, and you don't quite reach your goals. Um, it's only a loss, we said, if you don't learn from it. So um, I want to talk a little bit about our feeder programs, the JB and the C teams. Uh, had really a lot of success uh, in a lot of ways. Winning games, they won a huge uh, tournament this year in Ulysses against a lot bigger schools. Uh, so really proud of of all those guys and the work you put in and, and Coach Pantoja and Coach McNall. Um, I know that uh, we can look forward to some big success uh, because of that if we continue to work hard. Uh, it's, it's just one of those games where if you want to be good, you can be uh, just putting the work in. So I appreciate the work you put in and hope that continues forward. Uh, talking about our varsity guys, we had three seniors this year uh, who will miss dearly. Uh, one of them I mentioned before, Gio Callejas, who's our point guard this year. Um, was our leader in, in every way. Uh, we was really proud of him, um, the way he that he uh, led us as as he 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 was the only one of us that, that knew where we we're going and how to get there as far as players wise and and the guys followed him really well and he kept our energy up and, and our uh, just just the direction and just played flat out really really well. Um, one of the leaders all year in Class Two A of Kansas in assists and steals. Uh, all the way through the year. So um, just really quality year and proud of Gio. Jareth uh, Carrasco, we're going to miss him as well. Just just a lot of talent, a uh, great shooter from the outside. Uh, when he would get locked in and get confident and calm, um, he's just absolutely a joy to watch. Uh, so we're going to, we thank you for your uh, hard work and commitment you put in to this program, Jareth. Same thing for Fernando Muro. Um, one of those guys who you just, you love to have, in your program because uh, no matter if things are going well or not well, um, he's solid, he's, he's uh, steady. And so uh, we appreciate him and all three of you guys. Uh, we wish you the best of luck and you're always welcome to come back and um, speak to us, be part of practice, come, uh, you'll always be, be a Trojan and part of our, our team and our program. So we thank you. Our juniors this year, we had Cole Scott who, had a uh, just just got better pretty much every game. He ended up averaging 12 points and seven and a half rebounds. Uh, just a real solid junior year. And again, he's one of those guys where if we didn't have uh, such a successful um, senior laden team the year before, this probably would have been his second year with varsity experience. And then he, those numbers would be pushed up even further. Um, but it took took him a while to learn. You know. Uh, how am I, how do I score? How, what type of player am I going to be? Um, what does it mean to work hard? And all those things, not just with, with Cole, but all of us, but just real proud of, of uh, the commitment. He wants to be real good, has got a, a lot of talent and potential and uh, is, is a good, uh, good young man, becoming a good, um, better man and better basketball player. And I just have big uh, dreams and hopes and sky's the limit for him. Uh, Aiden Waldron, uh, again, one of those guys who, um, Man, he just he just grounded out. Things were um, tough at times. Learning uh, learning where his spot was going to be, what his role was going to be. Uh, fought for minutes, and by the end of the year, 
we didn't want to take him out. And he was a starter at the end of the year and, and one of our key cogs and um, just has a, has a good knack and a feel uh, for some things that can't be taught. And I just look again, hopefully he has a great summer uh, along with Cole and all the rest of our underclassmen and, and look for big things from him and all of us next year. Next one up is uh, Roger Martinez. Uh, man, Big Raj is, is he's, he's big in every sense of the word, not just a big and strong guy, uh, but also just big with his presence and with his character and, and who he is and just a key cog, just a key part of, part of us, whether he was uh, providing uh, big minutes and big rebounds or whether he was just being an, uh, a heck of a teammate and, and uh, um, bringing his spirit and, and energy with him. Had a good year and it looked for even better uh, this year as well. Marco uh, Vallela, same thing with him, uh, just a scrapper. Um, he probably averaged three or four rebounds a game, but if you double his minutes to uh, to where um, to where he got up there to 30 minutes a game, you're looking at 10 rebounds or more. Um, so if he can continue to work um, and, and maybe if Coach Trauber gives him the playing time maybe that he needs, um, then... Yeah, you know, we'll look for we'll look for that from him next year. Uh, Rowdy, uh, Rowdy Martin, just uh, just one of the better defensive players um, around that I've had a chance to coach. When he's locked in and and and, and engaged, he can uh, shut uh, the best penetrators down. Um, and just like all of us, he's learning those lessons of of uh, of toughness and of uh, when when to do what and. And just putting it all together, and I think that uh, once he does, his senior year should be a, a special one next year. Uh, and then Kyle Peterson, who moved up to the varsity towards the end of the year, um, just a scrapper, and um, and he just ha has such kind of a, a herky jerky, uh, unorthodox um, way that he handles the ball and creates offensive advantages. Um, that whoa, you, you just you didn't expect it, and he's a buy a guy. Um, if he can kind of keep that up and um, um, hit, you know, shoot shoot a thousands and thousands of shots this this summer, uh, which is good for everybody, by the way. But um, then I know that um, he's going to have a good senior year, and we look forward to that as well. So thank you for your contributions, Kyle. We move to our sophomores, uh, Chris Garcia, who also moved up to the varsity of midway through the year and busted loose for a 25 point game against Elkhart, um, where they had to eventually just put a box and one on him because he, they, he was so hot and they couldn't stop him. That was fun to watch. Um, and look for big things uh, from Chris uh, as he goes into his, his junior year and uh, some more of those games. Uh, and if he can add to that um, that shooting touch where he can go on a tear, if he can add some uh, ball handling and, and aggressive moves to the hole and defense and, and a well-rounded game, he's going to be a special, special player. Sam Davidson was uh, a key cog for us all year. Hustles, scraps, very coachable, do anything you want, works hard, a good touch on the shot. He's just learning how to play the game. Uh, and going from in junior high where he was one of the biggest and strongest guys and played as a power forward to now to where he's got to rely on his speed, which he has a lot of, uh, and just developing the the dribbling and and um, catching and being ready to shoot when I catch and, and all the things that it, when you jump from um, that junior high playing a different position and he's just a sophomore to being a varsity starter, it's it's tough. And he learned a lot of those lessons that are going to pay dividends for him next year. Um, so we're, we're appreciative of that and look for great things. And then Sam Caney, uh, just, man, such a, such a, a scrapper and, and just, uh, always was near or at the, the front of our uh, sprinting whenever we did drills or, or uh, just around to get in shape. He uh, is a scrapper and um, just getting a feel for the game and learning um, learning all those little tips and tricks that uh, will get in buckets and help him on the defensive end. And um, he's got, he's got uh, a lot of uh, potential and, and uh, look for great things from him. Uh, next year as he goes to his junior year and then we'd have one uh, freshman who played quite a bit for us and that was Devin Dawson uh, just a great feel for the game it's tough to come up as a freshman 
Um, and he ended up uh, averaging close to double digits in the games that he played for us. Um, so we just, we look for great things from him as well, coming back for his sophomore year. Um, just a just a good group of, of guys. Uh, like I said, we had ups and downs, but it was um, never a question of um, character as far as um, these guys are, are, are going to do the wrong thing or, or I can't trust them. They're just they're good guys, and they're learning how to be uh, men, and they're learning how to be basketball players. So I'm proud of them and uh, appreciate uh, all of them. Look for great things next year. And, and in the future, and with basketball and in, in, in their lives, they're going to make good uh, fathers and workers and husbands and um, make, make our community proud. I know that. Um, we had a couple of players uh, recognized for special um, awards uh, after the season. We had an honorable mention all-league member, and that's Cole Scott. Uh, congratulations, Cole. Proud of you. And we had a second team all league member, Gio Callejas. Congratulations to both of you guys. Uh, well deserved. So, <clears throat> just to, to you guys, basketball players, and to the whole student body and parents and community, um, everyone watching this, we just uh, stay safe. Um, we lean on, your, lean on your faith, lean on God, lean on each other, lean on your family. And just as we talked about and as we learned this season, everything's a chance to get better. So as we're holed up, uh, we can do some fun things and spend some time with, with family and that's needed. Uh, but also we always want to strive to be the best version of ourselves. So I urge you, you boys basketball players, and I urge all of you to become better in some way during this time. Don't look back and say, man, I could have, what if I would have, uh, read a book every day or worked out every day or just some, pick something where you want to be uh, better. I'm a basketball coach, so I'm going to tell you to, to dribble, work on dribbling and uh, whatever, go to the park and shoot by yourself. But whatever you do, make, make yourself a better person and be the best version that you can be. I thank you guys. I miss all of you and hope, uh, hope to see you soon and hope uh, as we pray for our country that this uh, is over very soon. Thank you. Bye.